Today I'm putting three generations of X3Ds to the test in Armor Reforger, a game that's infamous for being tough to run smoothly. I ran benchmarks in both training mode and the Alma factory map in capture and hold mode across 1080, 1440, and 4K resolutions. If you're an Arma fan considering an upgrade, stick around to find out how these CPUs stack up. Here's a quick rundown of the test setups I used. All three CPUs were paired with an RTX 4070 and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Each was undervolted for optimal performance and efficiency. For the training mode test, I completed the driving section and the M16 target practice portion. For the second test, I loaded the capture and hold map Alma factory and followed a set route down the main road to the right of the factory. As for the settings used, I turned them down as much as I could without making it look like Minecraft to prioritize CPU usage. In training mode in 1080, the average FPS was nearly identical across all three CPUs. The 1% lows showed only single digit differences indicating similar performance. However, the most noticeable gap was in the 0.1% lows with the 5700X3D trailing significantly at 67 FPS versus 91 on the 7800X3D and 97 on the 9800X3D. In 1440, average FPS remained essentially the same across the board again. The 1% lows showed about a 5% improvement with each step up, but the 0.1% lows were where the 9800X3D stood out, holding the biggest advantage in minimizing stutters. In training mode in 4K, the differences across all categories were pretty much negligible, showing that GPU limitations were in play at this resolution. In Almara Factory at 1080, average FPS was similar across all three CPUs, with 1% lows showing only minor percentage increases at each step up. 0.1% lows were where the biggest differences emerged, as the 5700X3D recorded 90 FPS compared to 103 on the 9800X3D. In 1440, performance improvements were incremental across all categories as you moved up the CPU stack. The most noticeable difference was in the 0.1% lows with the 5700X3D at 71 versus 79 on the 9800X3D. And then in 4K, average FPS and 1% lows were nearly identical across all CPUs. However, the 0.1% lows highlighted a small gap with the 5700X3D at 44 FPS and the 98 slightly ahead at 49 FPS. So what's the verdict? The 5700X3D offers the best value by far. Priced under $200, you can easily pair it with a compatible motherboard and RAM kit for around $300 total. In contrast, the 7800X3D and 9800X3D CPUs alone cost $450 and $480 respectively. That's MSRP. And you'll still need to factor in the cost of a motherboard and DDR5 RAM. For less than half the price, you're getting about 85 to 90% of the performance of the newer X3D chips in Armor Reforger. While the 78 and 98 were smoother with fewer micro stutters, the overall experience felt pretty similar across all three systems. If you're already on AM4, the 5700X3D is a no-brainer upgrade that doesn't require a new motherboard or RAM. The AM5 X3Ds do offer a nice performance boost in other games, but for Armor Reforger, the difference isn't that significant. If you're on a 7800X3D, the upgrade likely isn't worth it for this particular title. I've just started diving into Armor Reforger, so expect more content on it soon. If there's anything specific you want to see drop a comment below or hit me up on discord all right that's all i got for today's video if you found it helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more hardware comparisons and gaming benchmarks thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one